welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today you guys, I'm gonna take you along as I decorate and restyle my daughter's bedroom. So you should guys have, should already have seen um, two videos. I shared with you us painting the space and adding some molding. Then I also shared a small home decor haul where I share with you some of the decor pieces that I'm planning on adding to her room as well. So if you haven't seen those videos, I'll link it in the cards above or I'll link it at the end of the video. So you'll be able to go ahead and uh, catch up with those as well but today you guys are going to do the fun part of decorating and restyling so let's get into it so okay you guys so before we get started this portion of the video is sponsored by a company called avenco home so avenco home is an online retailer who sells mattresses and they strictly sell mattresses online so they shipped me out one of their memory foam mattresses this is called their hybrid original and then this is in the size full so this is what i'm going to be unboxing for you all today so when you do get your mattress it comes tightly round uh wound up as you can see with plastic wrapping i did it did come in a box but i did go ahead and discard the box um, because it had my address and everything on there it does come with the instructions and make sure you read the instructions because it does tell you how long you need to give the mattress to conform to its original shape so yes yeah, so for this particular mattress it, it does say to give it at least 72 hours for it to conform to its original shape now like i said the mattress is a little bit heavy so i'm having my husband here just help me to unwrap it and remove all this plastic wrap and everything off of it and as you can see here in this clip that immediately after you start taking the plastic off the mattress starts to conform to its original shape now i do have the mattress upside down in this clip but then the next clip you'll see me flip the mattress around on its correct sides or in its correct side i mean so this mattress is constructed of memory foam and springs. You can use it with a box spring because as you can see, we're in my daughter's room. So she does have her box spring underneath it. Um, you can use it with a platform bed. You can use it on the floor. You can use it just on bed rails if you would like. So as you can see here that we have it used, we just have a headboard and then we have the bed rails that is attached to. And you can see right now it's a really thick mattress. It's very comfortable. The firmness is kind of like a little bit in the, the medium is not too far is not too firm and then i do like it that with some memory i do like that it, you know it's not like some memory foams that when you sit in the bed it kind of sinks you down with the mattress this mattress doesn't do that it does it definitely holds its shape i love that it has the quilted material on the top so it's very soft and very um nice to lay on it's constructed of really good materials and um yeah so i really do like it and then especially if you have a you're a person and like me and you have back problems this mattress is definitely something i would definitely um recommend because i like to have something a little bit more firm for my back so it does work well in that so i'll leave all the information for a bin code down in the description box below as well as the link to this mattress if you guys are interested okay you guys so now we're going to go ahead and start to decorate this space so it has been 24 hours since i had um unboxed the mattress and as you can see here it is pretty much almost at its full shape and you can see how thick and good quality the materials is with this mattress it's definitely very comfortable my daughter had the chance to sleep on it and she loves it so i do love the firmness and i do love how thick and plush the mattress looks so now i'm just taking a vacuum cleaner i'm just running the vacuum over the carpet real quick before i start to decorate and add in her decor. Now, I did want to add a small nightstand to her room. It's not that much space in here, but just so she can have something to add, you know, maybe some undergarments in and things like that. So I found this nightstand from Marshall's. I believe it was $129. And um, it just has like one single drawer at the top. And then it has like an open shelf and underneath it at the bottom where you can put some um, decor or some books or things like that on. So yes, I'm going to add that to this left side of her bed. Now, the only thing is when I bought it, it was a nice a rustic kind of brown color so since then i did end up painting it black just so it can kind of correlate with her room a little bit better and then over here i did add some new curtains i shared these curtains with you all in a previous haul this is by the home decorators collection it has a nice little pretty cream and kind of silver color to it and then above her nightstand, I did um, repurpose some things that I already had lying around the house. So I added this mirror above the nightstand and then I added this lamp. The mirror and the lamp actually came from the at home store.
So now I'm just gonna go ahead and make up her bed. So since this is a new mattress and I wanna protect it and try to get the longevity out of it, I'm definitely gonna protect it with a mattress pad or a mattress cover. So I got this mattress cover from the at-home store. I believe it was $16.99. And then this is in a size full. Now, I definitely wanted to try to save some money and decorate on a budget in this space. So I didn't want to spend a lot. So some of the things that I'm using in her room are things that I had throughout the house that I wasn't doing anything with that I'm going to repurpose to decorate and style her space as well. So these sheets here, these are just some um, solid black sheets. They have a little bit of a white um, kind of printed floral print on them. And I end up picking these up from, I believe, Big Lots. Now, one way to make your bed look really luxe, I always think of in a bedroom, I always think of the bed as like the centerpiece for the room. So I always try to make the bed look as nice and luxe as I possibly can get it because that's kind of like your focal point of any room. So always try to layer in different um, sheets and fabrics and throw pillows and things like that to kind of give you that upscale, that upscale look. Now I did pick up some new pillows. So I picked up these pillows from Ross and I believe you got two in a pack for $16.99. They're very plush, very um, soft, and then they feel like they are um, good quality. Now you'll see me add these, these um, pillowcases to the pillow, but I am gonna actually switch those out later on in a video and just because I decided just to use the, the pillow shams that come with the comforter instead of using the, the pillow covers that comes with the sheet set. And then her headboard, I did pick that up from the at-home store as well. So I picked her up a new comforter set as well from the at-home store. I love that it had a nice neutral color to it. And then I love these nice little wrinkly ruffle effect that it has on the comforter itself. It came with the comforter, the two shams, and it also came with like two decorative pillows. But of course I didn't use the decorative pillows that came with the set. I always like to add my own just to kind of give it a nice luxe feel. So yeah, and then the comforter size is in the actual is, is a size queen because I wanted it to kind of be a little bit longer so it kind of drapes on the side of the bed. And then I did forget to mention the curtains actually came from Home Goods as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just style some extra pillows on her bed. So I always use two regular everyday pillows where you can kind of sleep on and things like that. And then I'm gonna add like three decorative pillows to the front of the bed just to kind of style it up. But I did change these two shams. Like I said, I took those off and then I'm gonna use the shams that actually came with the comforter set. So for her space, I wanted everything to be a neutral color palette. I wanted it to be nice and calming and relaxing. So that's the vibe that we're going for. I can't really put too much decor in here. So we definitely gonna leave everything to be simple because it's not a whole lot of space. And plus she wants to be able to go in and add her own little um, personal items as well after everything is done um, being styled. So 
so I just wanted to put in a few things to kind of fix up the room and make it look a little bit more comfy and homey and then she can go in and add her own little personal touches to the space as well. So these are the shams that came with the comforter. Like I said, I really like um, the pattern on there. I thought it was really nice and cute, very neutral. And then now I'm just gonna add in three decorative pillows to the bed as well. So this first set of pillows, I picked these up from the at home store. These were $19.99, they are downfield and it kind of has like that um, nice pattern on the front. And it lively because like I said, a nice neutral ivory color. So you can see our covers, colors for this room. We're doing some ivories and um, creams and then a little bit of black. And then her walls are a nice kind of like a blush pink, but it's a muted blush pink. And then I end up picking up two of these pillows here. Lumbar pillow that I'm gonna add to the front. I actually picked this pillow up from Home Goods. Um, it's by the company called Rodeo Home. And this one was um, $24.99 and how everything has turned out. Now her nightstand, I'm just gonna put um, a little floral arrangement. So I am adding this ginger jar. I picked this up from Home Goods. It's so cute because it has like black and then it has like a cream pattern on it, or, or, on it as well. So you'll see me add these floral picks. I got these from, I believe Michael's a long time ago that I'm just gonna add to the vase. And then you'll also see later on in the video that I am going to add some floating shelves. So I'm going to move this arrangement to the floating shelves and just put a different arrangement here on the nightstand. Now on this side of the room, I had just have enough space to add a nice um, plant just to add a little pop of greenery. So that plant stand came from Ross. It was $16.99 and it has like that gold and black um, the golden black uh, detail on it. And then this plant here I got from Target. On this side of the room, I am gonna add in some floating shelves. My husband did um, make some floating shelves for her room, so he um, made those, and then we're gonna get those added. And then on this side of the wall, I'm just gonna add a large piece of artwork. So this art I had in throughout my house before. Like I said, I'm not using it, so I am trying to save money and repurpose as much stuff as I can. So I decided to add this piece of art here in this um, on this wall in her room, and then this art came from Home Goods. Now, when you have a small room, don't be afraid. You can not add large pieces of art to your wall. It still will look nice and make a statement in the room as well. So just because the space is small doesn't mean you have to go with small, dainty art or um, decorative pieces. You can definitely um, add larger pieces as well. Then on this side of the wall, these are the floating shelves that my husband um, made for her room. So it's just enough space that you can add a few decorative items on there. So I just kind of put these here just to style it. Like I said, I moved that ginger jar up here and then I added those decorative boxes that I got from the at-home store. But she's gonna go in and add in her little personal things as well once um, everything is all uh, finished. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. It really helps on my channel a lot. And um, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And to all of my beautiful subscribers, thank you all so, so much for watching. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.